As much as WWE wants to deny it, the UFC is indeed competition for pro wrestling. The similarities between the two is much more than either side will admit. Plenty of pro wrestlers have martial arts backgrounds, so here are 10 current WWE superstars who could join the UFC. And if you think this is ridiculous, remember, CM Punk fought in said company. Baron Corbin While Corbin may be as interesting as watching paint dry, there's still some talent left in the body of the lone wolf. It doesn't include any pro wrestling skill, but still. Before he arrived in NXT, Corbin played as an offensive lineman in the NFL, but more importantly, he was a boxer. A pretty good one too, as Corbin managed to snag a Golden Gloves Regional Boxing Championship in Kansas, Missouri. What we're saying is Corbin could do well in MMA, away from WWE. Please get away from WWE, Corbin, please. Sin Cara Sin Cara has no martial arts background that we know of, but let's take a look at his track record. First off, Sin Cara reportedly got into a backstage fight with Sheamus in 2014, and Sheamus is a 6'4", 267-pound Irish monster who looks like he can rip your head off. Did Sin Cara care about that when he beat him in a backstage fight? Nope. Not only that, but Sin Cara also beat up Simon Gotch last year. And if Sin Cara's stories of backstage fisticuffs are true, he could always take his talents to the UFC. Cesaro. Take one look at Cesaro and you see the body of a Superman pun totally intended. WWE fans who have seen the strength of Cesaro can attest to just how powerful he is, often putting the company's super heavyweights to shame. While Cesaro may not have any martial arts training that we know of, his athleticism and strength would be a great base for MMA. Plus, he's under 265 pounds, so he could actually fight in the heavyweight division. Seth Rollins. Much like Cesaro, Seth Rollins doesn't have any martial arts training that we know of. However, also like Cesaro, Seth Rollins is one of the most physically gifted wrestlers in WWE history. The way he flies through the air and lands on his feet, along with the flexibility he shows off on numerous occasions, would translate perfectly into the UFC. If Rollins chose to train in MMA, expect him to have powerful kicks and a good jiu-jitsu game off his back. But first, he has to cancel the Owens and Jericho show. Samoa Joe Before elements of MMA came commonplace in pro wrestling, Samoa Joe was proudly flying the martial arts flag on the indie scene. Joe's entire offense in pro wrestling involves lots of throws, heavy strikes, and real-life submission holds. On top of that, Joe is trained with Team Punishment, whose members include former UFC fighters Tito Ortiz and Kendall Grove. And seeing as Joe is a very good friend of CM Punk, maybe Punk will convince his friend to leave WWE and head for MMA. Jack Swagger Jack Swagger is one of the worst world champions in WWE history and a complete unknown figure in today's WWE landscape. Something does need to be said, however, about Swagger's considerable amateur wrestling pedigree. Before he entered WWE, Swagger was a collegiate wrestler at the University of Oklahoma. In his final year, Swagger ranked seventh in the NCAA championships and also was named an All-American. Seeing how his WWE career is going, MMA doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. Chad Gable One half of the American Alpha tag team, Chad Gable lives up to his gimmick by being one hell of an amateur wrestler. Taking the second half of his ring name from legendary grappler Dan Gable, Chad was quite a good wrestler on his own right. Prior to joining WWE, Gable qualified for the 2012 London Olympic Games. While he won his first match, he would lose to Cuba's Pablo Shorey in the second round. If Dan Henderson and Yoel Romero has shown anything, it's that wrestling Olympians could do amazingly well in the UFC. Jason Jordan While his teammate Chad Gable may have made it to the Olympic Games, Jason Jordan's credentials in college wrestling are absolutely outstanding. In his senior year at Indiana University, Jordan was skilled enough to rank number two in the country at his 285-pound weight class. If this wasn't impressive enough, Jordan did this while only weighing at 225 pounds. So if Jordan was able to defeat wrestlers way outside of his weight range with speed and agility, who's to say he couldn't do it in MMA? Shinsuke Nakamura Just look at what he did to Austin Aries. Good Lord Almighty can Shinsuke Nakamura kick. Making his entire career off of hitting people really, really hard, it shouldn't surprise anyone that Nakamura actually has competed in mixed martial arts. Holding a record of 3-1 and one and won no contest, Nakamura didn't go far, but his pro wrestling style is very martial arts influenced. With his various submission holds and smashing strikes, Nakamura could for sure jump back into the mix of things in MMA. Asuka When Asuka was signed to WWE's NXT brand last year, the wrestling world all rose to their feet and cheered. And there's a good reason for that. Asuka built her reputation as one of the best wrestlers in Japan on the back of her colorful outfits and more importantly for this list, tremendous martial arts offense. Killer submission holds, powerful strikes, and silky smooth transitions, Asuka has never competed in MMA, but could have easily made a big splash in the sport if she chose to. 
And that's it for our list. Which WWE performer would you want to see most in UFC? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the Sportster for more awesome content. Until next time, 